Are you traveling soon and don't have the perfect camera to vlog with? Well, me too. Hi everyone, I'm Jojo Kino and I'm a traveler, vlogger, and social media manager and today I'm in my family's home in Manila. And today I'm going to show you the best travel vlogging cameras for this year, 2019. So before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to this channel, that way when I post about travel vlogging advice, you'll get notified. So what makes a great travel vlogging camera? So there are 6 things that I look at. First one is video quality and that one's very important. So the most common video resolutions that cameras offer are 720p HD, 1080p Full HD, and 4K Ultra HD. And it's already 2019, so I suggest getting a camera that shoots at least 1080p Full HD. The second one is portability. Especially when it comes to travel, you want something that's light and compact. You don't want anything that's bulky and heavy. So having something that's very portable for travel especially is really important. So the next spec I look at is flip screen capability, which is very important for vlogging. You want to make sure you're in focus and you're in frame. Another important spec to look at is the autofocus system. So can the camera focus on you while it's recording? That's very important when it comes to vlogging. So you're not busy trying to make sure you're in focus while you're trying to speak and spread your message. The fifth one is image stabilization. As you're walking or jogging or skiing down a mountain, you want to make sure that your footage is smooth and not shaky. So having image stabilization in the camera or in the lens you're using is really important. And the last one is audio input. Audio is just as important as your video quality, so you want to make sure that there's an audio input for an external microphone. Because sometimes a built-in microphone doesn't work especially for windy days or for loud and crowded places, having an external microphone is really going to help a lot for your vlogs. And your viewers will thank you, trust me. <laughs> the first camera I'm going to mention is Everyday Vlogging and it's the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. And it's a popular camera that's really popular in the vlogging community. <laughs> for its compact size, it has pretty good photo and video quality and shoots up to 1080 Full HD at 60 frames per second. It has image stabilization so you can trust that your footage won't look shaky. And it also has a large lens range from 24 to 100 millimeter. It's got a flip screen which is perfect for vlogs and it even tilts 45 degrees downward. So let's say you're shooting something from above, you can flip that screen towards you um, and still see what you're shooting. Another one is, is that it works pretty decent in low light situations which especially when it comes to travel, you're not going to carry lighting gear with you. So you definitely want a camera that works well in low light. So the next camera is a small but powerful camera that can shoot 4K and that's the Sony RX100. So if shooting 4K is really important for you and you still want a compact camera, the Sony RX100 might be a good option for you. It shoots 4K up to 25 frames per second and it has ultra fast shooting speeds which Sony is really known for and really quick autofocus. It can film up to 960 frames per second in case you want to shoot that really slow-mo shot but I don't think this is at 4K though. Um, so you have to double check on that. And it has face detection autofocus so you can make sure that you're always looking sharp while you're vlogging. Next up is a really budget friendly camera that's also great for beginners and it's the Canon PowerShot SX620S. So if you're on a budget, this is really affordable for you. It has face detection autofocus so that's also great. It has eco mode so you can make sure you won't lose battery throughout the day. And what eco mode is is that it dims the screen when you're not using it just to make sure that you're not wasting the power. And it also doesn't have many buttons on the camera, which for some people might be too simple for them, but for beginners, it would work perfectly for them. It shoots up to 1080 Full HD and also works pretty decent in low light situations. One of the drawbacks is that it doesn't have a flip screen. So if you're really looking for a camera with a flip screen, which to me that's important, skip this camera. The next camera is best for rugged and waterproof conditions. And I think you already know this, it's the GoPro Hero 7. So it's a really compact camera which is technically made just for travel. So it's really great for you if you find yourself swimming underwater with fishes or zip landing from mountain to mountain. This is the camera that's perfect for you. It has really great image stabilization and it shoots up to 4K. The image stabilization for the GoPro is really impressive in my experience when I used it and I think that because it's really made for sports users or people who are into adventure. So it shoots 4K Ultra HD at 60 frames per second 
and you can connect a separate microphone into your GoPro but you do need an adapter which is pretty expensive. So the next camera I'm going to talk about are mirrorless cameras. So if you want something with a lot more creative control or you want to change your lenses or you want a larger sensor than what the point and shoots can offer, these cameras might be the option for you. So the first mirrorless camera I'm going to mention is best for its affordability and for its balance of portability and quality and that's the Sony A5100. So for a mirrorless camera, it's pretty light and compact. It has fast and continuous autofocus and can capture up to 1080 Full HD at 60 frames per second. It also has a great battery life, which is great for travel. You don't have to carry an extra battery. It works pretty well in low light situations, but the only con is that the camera doesn't have image stabilization. So you have to make sure that the lens you're using with that camera does have that. And another drawback is that it doesn't have an audio input for microphone. So you have to make sure that when you're using this camera, you're in a quiet place, it's not windy outside, or you're shouting really loud. So the next mirrorless camera is the best value for getting high quality quality vlogs and that's the Panasonic Lumix G4. So this camera packs quite a punch. It can shoot 4K Ultra HD at 30 frames per second, has an audio input for microphones, autofocus during recording, and even focus peaking for you filmmaker enthusiasts. That's me. It also has a flip screen, but it doesn't have in-camera stabilization. So again, like the Sony 5100, you're gonna need to use a lens that has that. And the last camera is best for SLR users. So if you're used to having a larger sensor in your camera, this might be the option for you. And it's the Canon EOS M50. So this camera has an APS-C sensor, which means it's a larger sensor than, let's say, a mirrorless camera which has a micro four thirds sensor. So it's much larger and the quality is much better. It has a flip screen and it has an audio input for your microphone. It films up to 4K HD, but one of the drawbacks is that it does crop in tighter when you film 4K. So you want to make sure that you use a lens that counteracts that, something that's much more wider. Um, another drawback is that it doesn't have built-in image stabilization. So just like the other mirrorless cameras, you're going to have to use a lens that has image stabilization. So that's it for the best travel vlogging cameras this 2019. If you've already chosen a camera or you're in between two, let me know what they are in the comments below. We can have a conversation about it um, and then hopefully that'll help you choose one because I'm in between choosing the Canon PowerShot G7 X Mark II and the Sony RX100. I'd love to get the Sony RX100 but it's really expensive. <laughs> Um, so I'm not sure if I want to commit to that one, but I do want to shoot 4k So maybe that might be the camera I'm gonna get I just have to save a lot of money and don't forget It's not about the camera you have It's about the value of the content that you're vlogging about so create vlogs that give value to other people who watch So please like comment and subscribe all that good stuff and also subscribe to my email newsletter Aside from making videos for YouTube. I also blog about travel So make sure to visit me at travelandpatico.com and subscribe to my email newsletter newsletter and I'll see you in the next video where I'll be I'll probably be in Okinawa because I'm kind of sort of moving there for love um, but we'll see how that goes right so I love you guys talk to you soon bye